In this video, we're going to talk about the Forms and Templates library, and that's going to be the button located on your action bar in a matter specifically here. This is one of the most important buttons in Smokeball because it includes all your specific templates that we've automated for you. It includes some specific templates that Smokeball already has that you can use, you can modify, make your own. But it's also going to be the home for all those court and authority forms. And what we mean by court and authority forms is any form you can go to a website, maybe like a Secretary of State's office or a court website, pull off and download a PDF. Title companies or agency would be another great example of what you could find in this forms and templates library. If I go ahead and click on this, it's going to go ahead and open up the form and letter library and default to a folder. It is important to note that in this specific file, I'm subscribed to pretty much every form suite across every area of law and every jurisdiction. So I'm in a California matter here. And you can see I have a lot of folders. In this case, unless you're a completely general practice and you subscribe to every form suite, you're probably not going to see all these folders. But it's important to note that what we've done is it, it defaults to a specific folder. In this case, I'm working on a pre-decree, so I have my pre-decree uh, specific files here. What you'll notice is we do have some smokeball forms. In this case, I know it's a smokeball form because you'll see kind of an orange dot as well. And then I also have some shortcuts. A shortcut is always going to have this arrow. And they're shortcuts specifically to, it looks like in this case, some of the judicial counsel forms or those court and authority forms that are coming off a court website. The second way I know it's a court website, you notice on the right hand side we have a form number. And what we try to do is just put the more popular forms that you're going to use frequently up here available for you. You can always right click if you didn't want to see a specific one to delete it. And we'll show you how to create a shortcut uh, to some additional documents. If I go ahead and I scroll down here. If I just wanted to browse, I can go ahead and open up that court and authority section. In this case, you can see all the different forms by a variety of jurisdictions. So I could come in here and see all the different uh, federal forms if I'm subscribed to, real estate forms. And you can see even the specific counties. What's going to populate under here is going to be based on what specific file you're in as well as what you're subscribed to under those form suites again. So if you don't see anything down here, make sure you see our form suites video of how to subscribe to there. A couple final things. If I wanted to create a shortcut, I could simply come up and let's just say I'm in that pre-decree matter or folder right here. I could click on manage shortcuts, search and find the specific file here that I'm looking for and create a shortcut. So check out the video if you want to see in depth on how to create a shortcut or the article on that. And finally, I do have the ability to search and we do have a refined video that shows you all the different functionalities of how the search works. But I could search by a specific form number and it pulled up the form number. And I can also search by just name. So if I typed in petition. Last thing I'll say on this is if you don't see anything that pops up in the specific folder, make sure you just search all folders. And the top that you want to make sure if you are searching in the form and templates library that what you're searching for is just very specific. But check out the search video and the other videos on the forms and templates library and how to navigate this. If you're ever finding a form in this library that's missing, just let us know. Send us a link as well as the form number to the jurisdictional or secretary of state page. And we'll work on getting that in here in Smokeball for you to automate.